This is my little Thundercat booby. Um, a tremendous fly, really good, a good fishing fly. Catches big fish, catches stuckies, catches brownies, pretty much everything. Um, and it's got some golden UV in there, but it's just bright, uh, pure blob frets, it really does it. It makes a fly pop, stands out a mile. You need to see it in the water to believe it, so let's go ahead and tie it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll stick a, a hook in the vise. For this particular fly, because of the size of the, the frets, this is a 175 size 10. In the vise, this is a Kamazan. Yeah, 175 size 10. So the thread, white thread will do. Uh, this is a light car hill. Just happen to have it after tying a different fly. And just cook that a little bit. Come in at the eye of the hook and start to wind back. Come into a point just opposite the barb of the hook there. Thread back up. And for the tail, I've got a, a white marabou. And all I'm going to do with this is I like to snip the end off like so. It just makes it a bit neater. So I've got booby eyes to go on there. So I'm going to set a little bit of space coming in. So this is our, our tail here. Now I've got this stuff. Metallic struggle. It's an 8mm UV gold. You can use 10mm on this fly, but it's a bit overkill. It takes over everything. And all I'm going to do is take a little strand. Now, with this stuff, what you need to do with any struggles is make sure any frets actually, is that you're stroking the fibres back. So every time you turn, you want to stroke the fibres back. So a turn there, pull everything back, so that your frets is towards the back of the hook, you're pulling everything towards the back of the hook on every turn. So every turn, pull that frets, all the fibres, so they're coming back, just like you would a hackle, so I'm pulling the fibres back. I don't want to get that stuck on my thread. Stroke the fibres. Pull them tight. Nearly there. I think that'll be the last turn there. So on the up, when I'm pulling up, I've just got to lock that in place. My thread wrap. Because it is a fritz, I prefer a blade. Just come in, be careful your fingers. Stroke things back. Like so. Just make sure that everything's pointing towards you, the rear of the hook. Like that. I've then got probably the brightest stuff I've ever seen in my life. Pure blob frets, 15 mil. Now, you can't have gone too heavy on that, otherwise you cloak all the gold. So I'm only wanting a couple of turns. And this stuff, unlike other fritzies, it seems to be more, I'm trying to think of the right word for it. It's not as uh, translucent. You'll see what I mean when I wind it on. But I just want to make sure I've got the right bit so that my fritz is going the right way. So I've stripped some away for the core there. Tie that in. Get right back onto the, the tying thread of where the fritz was. And my scissors. Now, I didn't want a lot because this stuff's so bright. But again, if I take that light away, you see how bright the fritz is. But I need that light for tying, so forgive me. As with the, the gold, I'm just going to take a turn. And I make sure I'm stroking the fibres back. I only need one turn on here. Otherwise, I'm going to cloak all the gold. And we want to be able to see that. Again, it's Fritz. In with the blade. I'm just moving some of the mess out of my way. 
and then just create a nice taper here. That's perfect, perfect. I've just created a nice little taper for my booby eyes to go on here. Nice and smooth. And I always leave myself enough space to get some thread in front of the booby eyes as well. So you can see I've got a nice taper there, a bit like a nomad. But what you didn't want is that thread's completely cloaking the gold. So, and again, more of the white marabou. And make sure that it cloaks the wing. So not just a single side, but it sort of cloaks it. So push your thumb and forefinger so it goes either side. It almost is at an angle. And snip. And we just got to tidy this up. Keeping that taper as best we can. Like so. And then getting your booby eyes on, which I've got here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a, a crease down the middle of my booby eyes. I'll just do that with a dipping needle. So if I, there's my middle. Here's my eyes. And then in between the eyes, one, two, three wraps to rock it that side. Come round to the other bit of the eye, one, two, I'll just turn this so you can see. I'm going in between the eyes, in between. Okay, that just locks everything really tight. In between the eyes, one, two, three, pull everything back. And then, in with the whip finishing tool, pull the eyes back, one, two, three, that's him. Stick a tiny bit of varnish in the eyes, yep. tiny bit of varnish there, just make that out. I do a little legs across the eyes like so. Spin them back round. And that's him. So I just now want to get the wing and the tail to the same length. There you go. That, for boobies, um, the Thundercat, that's what I call it, Thundercat, because it's so bright. Um, I reckon I would get Thunder and Cat with bright, but it's the name that I gave it. And that, that fritz is just, it really makes it pop. But it's a great fly, early in the season, fish deep down. It'll also fish well right through the year, especially in the back end for the better fish. And you can see that little bit of UV peeking out there. But it's the brightness of that fritz, I think, pulls fresh in. That's my little Thundercat booby. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Plenty more fly fishing and fly time videos on there.